this with students. What I will tell you is you always want to go first and maybe you do a line first. Okay. And that's why, yes, you have to be able to do this. <laughs> now we're going to do number, color, animal direction. So number, five, five color, blue. blue, animal. So think about this. Let's stop and think. Okay, we had a pause in the room. Okay, <laughs> there was silence in the room. We are talking silence okay so this is where we're thinking y'all ready if and this is what i would say to the student so if it's yellow what number is yellow four, four. what do you see yourself do to a four line, line under. under which animal did i see you put a line under the elephant Okay, so one of our one of our one of our people in person was like, Phew. okay, <laughs> so yeah, hello, and this is what I need you to understand, students who happen to have Down syndrome, who happen to have autism, who happen to have intellectual disabilities, who happen to have things that people said they couldn't learn, absolutely are understanding this. Absolutely. And they are thinking abstractly and it's making connections in their brain. And it's so fascinating. And yeah, I love it when it happens to our college students and our kids with dyslexia. But I got to tell you, when it happens to our kiddos with an intellectual disability who are told, you know, it's like walking in Dante's Inferno, abandon all hope, all who enter, because that's how some of parents have felt with the diagnosis and an IEP or testing or what they've been told is to abandon hope. And as Clayton told you, those that most important word is hope. And so when I see this happen, I mean, it, to me, it's like, yeah, when my kids walk for the first time, I'm like, oh my gosh, they just <laughs> were like, oh, you know, they see it and they're like, I get it. And they know it's a big deal. They know that that was huge to make that connection. Okay, so we're going to 